We'll be going back in time to break down Anthony Joshua's dominant victory over tricky southpaw Otto Wallen. We will also dive into Joshua openly stating he wants Tyson Fury next despite other options existing. After bullying Wallen en route to a fifth round stoppage last weekend, Joshua made it clear his preferred next opponent would be fellow British heavyweight star Fury. However, with Fury likely facing Usyk and Joshua, the IBF mandatory, will we actually get the all-UK showdown both men crave? We have lots to discuss regarding Joshua's big win, what it means, and whether he and Fury ultimately collide to determine the division's king as both stars desire. First, let's recap Joshua's stellar performance halting the rugged Wallen in brutal fashion Saturday night. Having already notched back-to-back -back victories over Jermaine Franklin and Robert Hellenius earlier this year, the pressure was on Joshua to make a statement stopping the notoriously durable Wallen. And AJ delivered with flying colors, scoring by far his most dominant showing in years. He imposed his will from the opening bell, breaking Wallen down systematically before finally overwhelming him for the stoppage midway through round five. Utilizing his underrated boxing skills, Joshua stayed patient working behind the jab from range early. He displayed sound footwork and defense avoiding Wallen's wide left hands while carefully measuring counter opportunities without overextending. By the middle rounds, Joshua began sitting down more on punishing right hand shots downstairs and up top. With Wallen wilting from the thudding body blows and accumulation of power headshots, referee Luis Pabon stepped in to save Wallen from unnecessary additional punishment. For Joshua, the Wallen destruction marked his third straight stoppage victory during his 2023 comeback campaign. After the back-to-back -back devastating defeats to Usyk and shock upset against Ruiz, AJ has rediscovered his world-class form once again. He re-established fundamentals like maintaining range control, working behind the jab, targeting the body, and remaining patient waiting on openings rather than chasing wild knockouts. This disciplined, mature approach bodes extremely well moving forward. With Joshua's career seemingly back on track after a bumpy couple of years, attention now shifts to identifying his next marquee opponent in 2024. When asked directly who he prefers to fight next between consensus division King Tyson Fury or IBF mandatory challenger Philip Hergovich, Joshua left zero doubt. 100% Tyson Fury, he declared emphatically. But I'm not dodging Hergovic, I'll fight Hergovic as well. So despite the 29-0 Croatian knockout artist Hergovic representing a clear path back to a world title, Joshua made crystal clear his priority remains to settle the score with Fury instead. After years of anticipation building towards an undisputed mega-fight between the British giants, boxing politics and upset losses ultimately foiled hopes thus far. But with both men now campaigning actively again, the time seems ripe to finally sign the monumental all-UK showdown for all the divisional marbles. It could smash global box office and attendance records in a battle for the ages overseas. However, despite Joshua and Fury expressing genuine willingness to throw down, logistical hurdles still stand in the way. Namely, Fury currently plans to face Oleksandr Usyk next in a title unification after their initial classic draw. Their contracted rematch removes Fury from the equation temporarily. Additionally, Joshua will likely need to defeat Hergovic anyway to regain a belt and maximize leverage at the negotiating table with Fury, who typically chases the biggest money fights due to immense popularity. So while both megastars crave sharing the ring sooner than later, Joshua must handle his business against the dangerous Hergovic first before circling back to Fury after his date with Usyk concludes. Hopefully, then the stars and belts finally align. At the end of the day, I firmly believe we will eventually see Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury materialize by early 2025, as long as both men continue winning over the next year. The demand is simply far too great for this legacy-defining UK megafight not to manifest after years of anticipation. Especially with Joshua finding his best form again against quality opposition. Give me Joshua defeating Hergovic in a fight of the year contender to regain his championship medal during mid-2024. Shortly after, Fury edges Usyk clearly in another razor-thin classic. With the titles consolidated between British superstars and intrigue at a fever pitch, 
All sides finally hammer out terms setting up Joshua vs. Fury in spring 2025. In a competitive thriller, I favor the bigger, stronger Joshua scoring a dramatic late stoppage of Fury behind his deafening home support. AJ reclaims his spot atop boxing's glamour division, establishing the long-awaited first lineal heavyweight champion from the UK in history. The mega event also obliterates financial records guaranteeing lucrative rematches for years to come between Joshua and Fury. Who do you have winning once these dynamic heavyweights collide to crown an undisputed king? Let me know in the comments. Here's my early take on Joshua's steamrolling of Wallen and the path for him facing rival Tyson Fury next. Despite obstacles still existing, I believe fan demand ultimately forced the super fight to happen by 2025 after Fury and AJ take care of their next challenges. A new golden era of heavyweight supremacy awaits. Right now, Joshua is preparing himself for a big fight that can make or break his career. He'll be facing the new boxing sensation, the ex-MMA fighter, Francis Ngannou. This fight is set to go down on March 8th live from the Kingdom Arena in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The boxing world has been buzzing about this matchup ever since it was first announced last month. Both of these men pack incredible power in their fists and bring elite-level athleticism into the ring, so we should be in for a wild one when these heavy hitters clash. Let's start by taking a closer look at Francis Ngannou. After a very successful MMA career where he captured the UFC heavyweight title, Ngannou decided to transition into boxing last year. He made his pro boxing debut back in October when he faced legendary champion Tyson Fury in a 10-round non-title affair. While Ngannou came up short on the scorecards that night, he definitely opened a lot of eyes by managing to drop Fury in the third round. It was a very close, competitive fight that many people actually felt Ngannou deserved to win. So despite being new to the boxing world, the man known as the Predator has already shown he can hang at the elite level. Standing across from Ninganu will be Anthony Joshua, who is hungry to reclaim his spot at the top of the heavyweight division. Joshua is a former unified world champion and Olympic gold medalist. However, after losing his title to Oleksandr Usyk in their 2021 rematch, Joshua hit a bit of a rough patch. He's now won his last three fights against quality competition to get back into the title picture. That included a dominant TKO victory over Robert Hellenius and a stoppage of top contender Otto Wallen his last time out. So Joshua seems to have regained his elite form as he pursues another crack at the world titles. This is such an intriguing matchup because Nganu brings incredible knockout power stemming from his MMA days, while AJ is one of the sharpest and most technically sound heavyweights in boxing today. Nganu only has one pro boxing match under his belt, but his frightening punching power can end a fight in the blink of an eye. Joshua is the more polished, experienced boxer, but he will have his hands full dealing with the raw athleticism and explosiveness of the Predator. In the end, I'm leaning towards picking Anthony Joshua to have his hand raised in this one. He has a significant experience edge in the boxing ring. He should also have the technique and footwork needed to navigate Nganu's dangerous power punches. However, all it takes is one clean shot from Francis to completely shift the tide. This should absolutely deliver heavy fireworks for as long as it lasts. That's all for today, folks. Smash the like button if you enjoyed today's breakdown and analysis. Make sure you are subscribed with notifications to never miss any of my fast video updates covering the latest boxing news, rumors, and predictions.